A tumor is an abnormal mass of tissue that results when cells divide more than they should or do not die when they should. Normally, the cells in your body age, die, and are replaced by new cells. With cancer and other tumors, something disrupts this cycle. Tumor cells grow, even though the body doesn't need them, and unlike normal old cells, they don't die. As this process goes on, the tumor continues to grow as more and more cells are added to the mass. Although some tumors are benign and consist of non-cancerous cells, others are malignant. Tumors can vary in size from a tiny nodule to a large mass, depending on the type, and they can appear almost anywhere on the body. Tumors are generally caused by mutations or defects in the genes. There are three main types of tumors, benign, premalignant, and malignant. Benign tumors are not cancerous. If a doctor removes them, they do not generally return. In premalignant tumors, the cells are not yet cancerous, but they have the potential to become malignant. Malignant tumors are cancerous. The cells can grow and spread to other parts of the body. Now the question arises, can we eat these tumors? The short answer, yes. Tumors are not contagious. The reason cancer is so dangerous is that it arises from your own tissue. Because of this, it can be difficult for your immune system to recognize it as invasive. If you were exposed to a tumor from another individual, your immune system would have much easier time recognizing it as foreign, and it would take care of it. There are a few exceptions though. Tasmanian devils famously transmit facial tumors to one another, but the chances of a tumor reaching your bloodstream are almost non-existent. The stomach acid will destroy all the tumor cells in your stomach owing to its extremely high acidity. The digestive enzymes will break down the cells before they get very far down your small intestine. One important example would be your lipases. They would pull apart all of the fats making up the cell membranes of the tumor cells. If your digestive system works fine, none of the tumor cells will be intact before they reach your small intestine. Even cooking the raw tumor will destroy most of its cells. But just because it could, doesn't mean you should. Many primary tumors are large bloody clumps. When the tumor gets large enough, its center does not get enough oxygen and nutrients and as a result, becomes a necrotic putrid mess with a toothpaste-like consistency and a very foul smell. Also, if you're immunocompromised, there could be an extremely small risk of tumor spreading to you. So whatever you want your next meal to be, just make sure it's not tumor. And if your chef serves you a tumor, he probably isn't a nice chef and you should definitely replace him. <laughs>